Okay, I got seven o'clock. It's January 25th. Um, it was the Fermington Town Board meeting. We have three public hearings tonight, so we'll do them first. And I'll have the town clerk um, read the public hearing announcements. First one's for the comprehensive plan. Please take notice that a public hearing will be held on January 25th, 2022 at 7 p.m. at the Farmington Town Hall, 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, 14425, pertaining to the draft document of the comprehensive plan. The draft document is available for viewing in the town clerk's office and on the town's website. Thank you. Ron, this started in 2020, right? Well, it started actually in late 2019. Before COVID. Then. Before COVID, okay. Yeah. And we had a number of committee meetings and we went remotely. And then we kind of dropped the ball and then said, well, we did other things like pending litigation and, and whatnot. We picked it up in 2021 and went through chapter by chapter with committee members, posted the draft in October on the website. And it was followed by a public hearing by the committee uh, in, I believe it was November, maybe late October. And then this board had a public hearing, sent the matter to the county. The county came back with very positive remarks, recommending uh, that it be adopted and commending the, uh, the town for their consistent comprehensive planning efforts and plans to preserve historic resources, farmland, and other natural features, and to provide transportation options, to plan for aging population, and develop a master plan for a community center in the Southwest Quadrant as a town that integrates residential, commercial, and recreational areas. Tonight is the second of two public hearings that the town is required to hold. This public hearing is on the draft document dated uh, January 25th this year. Um, it is a document that uh, reflects updates that began the planning process in this town in 1967 and then followed in 87, 93, 2003, 2011, and again in 20. 21, the 2021 edition is what you have before you tonight. Right now, it is approximately 275 pages. It will go over 300 pages when we put all of the environmental resolutions in it, the resolutions to adopt the public hearing record tonight, and the county planning uh, recommendations. So that, that you will have a virtual and uh, what do they call them, Encyclopedia <laughs> Britannica there, uh, of, of your own uh, store in the next uh, nine years. And then in 2030, somebody gets to take this over all over again. So you can read it, it will be somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, thank you. Uh, any other staff comments on the conference plan? I do want to thank all the committee members that were on it. Uh, it was stretched over a long period of time. It took us a lot to uh, the committee, a lot to get through it, but I really appreciate the time that they put on the, on the committee. Will you uh, bear with me just for a second? Uh, I'd like to extend a uh, special thanks to Susan Carolyn Hopkins, who was on the committee. Um, she is a professional planner. She works uh, in Rochester, and she was the one that helped design and, and work on the survey of community residents, which there was over 500 responses. Uh, it was a very important part of the plan update process, and uh, that information is contained in one of the appendices of the plan document. So, Susan, thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Brian, for mentioning that. Uh, at this time, public comment. Anybody on the floor here in the room have any comments? Anybody here on the floor have a comment? Anybody online have a comment on this public hearing for the conference of plan? No questions? I'm standing at this point. 
All right, we'll close the public hearing for the conference plan. Number two is the public hearing, local law amending chapter 165 zoning laws, article seven, terminology and definitions, article four, district regulations, article six, special use permits, article eight, administration and enforcement. Everyone just <laughs> Please take notice that a public hearing will be held on January 25th, 2022 at 701. PM at the Farmington Town Hall 1000, Farming Road 8, Farmington North 14425, pertaining to the adoption of a local law amending Chapter 165, Zoning Law, Article 7, Terminology and Definitions, Article 4, District Regulations, Article 6, Special Use Permits, and Article 8, Administration Enforcement. Proposed local law also amends the town's solar regulations and allows for the termination of the solar moratorium, moratorium currently in effect. Thank you. Dana, run any comments on this? Yes, uh, there was a solar committee created. Uh, we held two workshop sessions that were attended both in person and virtually. Um, input was received. We have uh, amended the solar regulations as well as other definitions and terms in the code to reflect the um, protection of farmland. Uh, which we were criticized previously on. Uh, in this effort, we have identified uh, a strategy for creating a meaningful conservation easement for protecting lands of equal acreage that are being taken temporarily out of production for solar uh, operations. Uh, the county reviewed this at their uh, January meeting. They recommended approval and send it back to the town. And we are, uh, I believe, ready to act on this. The moratorium on large scale solar ground mounted systems or solar farms, as the common jargon goes, uh, ends on December or February 10th, excuse me. And uh, we expect that this will be filed in the Secretary of State's office, thereby ending the the moratorium in advance of that deadline. Uh, we await the uh, receipt of applications for additional solar uh, operations, and we anticipate that there will be some in the coming year. Dan is just chomping the bit to get on it. <laughs> Your spare time. <clears throat> Always looking for new, new adventures. <laughs> we we haven't had it. Over the last two years, we've had a few companies talk to the town about a total of five, five, five companies talk to us about locations and when are we going to get over the moratorium. So, all right, same thing here. It's open for the public comments. Anybody in the room here? Public comment on this order and these regulation changes? Anybody online? Doesn't look like anybody's coming off the floor signing anything in chat. All right. Thank you. Now close this public hearing. And the third one, local law to for the town board to permit a 2023 fiscal year that requires real property tax levy in excess, the amount otherwise prescribed in general municipal law. Please take notice that a public hearing will be held by the town board of town of Farmington on the 25th day of January 2022 at 7 p.m. at the Farmington Town Hall 1000 County Road 8, Farmington, New York, regarding the adoption of a local law which permit the town board to adopt a budget for the 2023 fiscal year that requires a real property tax levy in excess of the amount otherwise prescribed in general municipal law, section 3C. Any resident of the town of Farmington shall be entitled to be heard upon said proposed local law and such public hearing. Copies of said proposed local law are available for review at the town of Farmington Town Hall 1,000 Farmington Park. Thank you. So this is an annual event. Uh, we don't trust New York State when we figure out our tax cap allowance of our uh, budgets, and so we always pass this law in case, even if we're over or under. Uh, that we've calculated incorrectly according to New York State. Uh, you know, we say we're under, they say, no, you're over. Um, and we 
we've covered ourselves on this. So hasn't been challenged yet, you know, we haven't, but we haven't had an audit. So right from New York State. So we just make this early in the year for next year's budget. Any other comments on the public here in the room? Anybody online? Comment? Any questions? I'll close the public hearing. This time we'll call the meeting, regular meeting to order and uh, take forward. You lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the <coughs> town board minutes for January 11th. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any comments, questions, changes? All in favor? Aye. 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 Also, at this time, I'd like to declare Mike Cassell necessarily absent. Um, before we get into uh, reports and minutes and all that, uh, the town board and the town clerk regretfully accepts Don Drew's resignation and wishing well in uh, his upcoming retirement. His wife just retired also, and they said they got the camper already packed for the <laughs> next trip when the weather warms up. So well, he'll be here for a while then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's a, Don's last day is uh, Monday, 31st. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. You're going to hire him back part time for uh, or something like that? In a moment. And when he's not camping, it's been a moment. Yeah. Like, yeah. wow, you can grab a pot for the way. Right. But so, you got some room, so. <laughs> Yeah, we do have a small room. Yeah. Uh, at this time, any privilege of the floor or public concerns? Any privilege of the floor or public concerns? Anybody online? Privilege of the floor or public concerns? I'm going to close John Parker. Just John? All right, we'll go to reports of standing committees, public works. <laughs> Yeah, on the water and sewer side of things, um, we had some discussion about a, a demonstration that we're potentially going to be doing with a, a sludge drying company um, with some other municipalities. Uh, at least one other municipality is on board, and uh, MRB is working out to reach out to a few more to see if we can get some more towns involved. Uh, we've been discussing, they've been out doing wet well cleaning as weather, manpower. Um, allows uh, 14 are, have been done so far, so um, still have quite a few to do. Um, with all the bad weather, they have been doing some inside organizing and doing some parts inventory, um, seeing what's in stock, seeing what they need to order. Um, also, waiting for a tech from the UV manufacturer, which now has to come out of Canada to take a look at an issue we're having with our UV system down there. Uh, we've been discussing replacing old water main on 332, still working on an al alternate design uh, that's kind of ongoing. Uh, again, weather permitting, fire hydrant replacement program has been going, but obviously weather has not cooperated with that recently. Um, ongoing design at Wagner Road Pump Station. I know Robin has met with MRB for preliminary drawings, and there's some more stuff they got to sort out. They have had several water main breaks in the last two weeks with the cold temperatures. Uh, a couple were service, and um, uh, one on Tudor Way um, uh, water main. Uh, we did also receive, finally, the Department of Health signed plans for our 396 and 332. Um, water main replacement at the intersection, which we've been waiting on for ever. Um, so we do have a resolution on tonight to get that out to bid. Um, and there's also one other resolution 
uh, on tonight's agenda, we can discuss that as it comes up. Highway and parks, obviously the snow's been here, so they've been out salting and plowing, sidewalks, um, removing snow from cul-de-sacs, which they got dealt in court today to the dismay of my kids, but <laughs> um, out repairing mailboxes uh, that were damaged. They did some stone hauling as well. Um, parks, kind of the same stuff, plowing, salting, building maintenance, um, typical picnic table projects for the winter and updating uh, the, the safety data sheets um, in the apartments. Uh, he's got five resolutions on tonight's agenda. Uh, we can go over those as they come up. And uh, I too, Don, wish you the best in retirement. I had a lot of fun in public works and enjoyed working with you. Learned not to trust your weather predictions, but but appreciate your long service to the town, both as in the department and obviously as superintendent. Well. So thank you. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Some operations. You want know, I just had a technology. My something else. <laughs> um, right, so we have the um, resolutions that, that we had the public hearings on um, for the comprehensive plan and um, our new solar uh, law. Um, the comprehensive plan and the solar law, both, um, I said we've had favorable. Um, reports from the county um, committees that have looked at those at those laws. Um, I think we've done uh, done a lot of work on putting these together. Uh, it's a lot of time put in. Um, again, thank Ron and everybody for their work on, on finally getting these. Um, especially the comprehensive plan that was a little bit of delay there, but um, getting getting these approved or getting them put together and hopefully approved. Um, still working on um, potential incentive zoning project um, at the Farmington Market Center or the Tops Plaza. Um, and then nothing else on the uh, Delaware River. I think they're waiting on um, getting the new solar law and um, still a period of time uh, for the appeal on the lawsuit that we won. But uh, with this new law going, like I said, we expect to uh, have some other companies reaching out. Um, Reaching out to the town. Um, code office has obviously been very busy, and I'll let Dan kind of touch on the most recent uh, fund that they had over there on the 96. Thank you, Nate. Our reports of other town officials, supervisor, uh, Bill Davis, and I will attend uh, next Monday and candidate for town board meeting. They have their public hearing uh, to, to be. Uh, funding and refinancing for the Canandaigua um, Farmington water tower and transmission line. As we have spoken in past meetings, the, the bids came in $4 million uh, over expectations. And so it takes both town boards to approve the 202B bonding concept before we can move forward. Already, uh, staff members, I'm looking at capital projects and equipment expenses for years 2023 through 2027. So you'll get uh, an Excel spreadsheet from Jane in the next couple of weeks. I want to get it to you before she has another week of auditors that uh, come in in February. Uh, Thursday at Ontario County, I have another two night uh, committee meeting. And in the evening, uh, board of supervisors meeting. So that's all for me. Uh, highway and parks. Uh, Steve pretty much covered uh, what's going on in here. Uh, the months of November and December were pretty lax in the uh, in the winter department. Uh, however, January seems to be making up for it uh, in force here with the low temperatures, uh, as this agenda reflects with the plowing, salting, cleaning the sidewalk, uh, removing snow, such that. Uh, that type of nature. Uh, one other thing I will add is 10 months ago, we ordered a pickup truck that showed up today. So uh, we weren't really sure that we were going to get it this quickly, to be honest with you, with the one we've been hearing. Uh, just, just on a personal note, uh, I just wanted to add that uh, I, I've been around town here for a long time, a good many years here, pushing 30 years. Uh, I've seen a lot of changes in the town, 
Uh, I've seen faces come and I've seen some go. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the folks that I've worked with from the labor force all the way to the administration uh, have been some of the finest people that I've had the pleasure of working with. Uh, I will say I'm proud of some of the projects that I've been involved with uh, hand in hand uh, with this board, uh, as well as uh, my staff more so directly, uh, other staff that uh, on, on a daily basis. Uh, it, it's a bittersweet stepping away. I'm going to miss uh, the day to day uh, projects here, but. Uh, as Pete said, wife and I got the camper loaded. <laughs> that's a that's a matter of court. I can still call you like every other day if you want. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I've got problem. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh thanks, Tom. Tom Clark. Oh well, it's our busy week. We're still waiting on uh, the bank checks to come in for taxes. So uh and the week will probably be really busy, still talking about our sewer. Thank you. Water and sewer. Um, as Brian said, the weather is a little cold out there, but we have been out cleaning around fire hydrants. Um, and we asked the public if they can help, you know, shovel around the hydrants that's in front of their house. It would be great. We've got over 2,000 fire hydrants, so it's tough to get them all cleaned up. And congratulations, Don. Thanks. Um, I will say the fire hydrant that we had to hit last week over there, uh, 96 was clean now. It was easy access. <laughs> Actually, all three of them. Yeah. Fire melted around it. Right. <laughs> Building and zoning. Um, yeah, a couple of things I wanted to go over. Uh, Nate touched upon uh, the Dollar General fire that we were out. Uh, we seemed a lot of man hours there. Uh, helping the fire department, but uh, not only just there, uh, with the colder weather, we're getting a lot more um, alarms with frozen pipes and flooding of apartments. And so we've been responding quite a bit uh, with the fire department as of late um, to assist them with uh, dealing with those kind of issues that causes more damage um, to our some of the apartments and to the residents' homes. Um, today, we also left. Um, we go today. Oh, uh, new way uh, for a vehicle that backed into the building because of the little issues there. So, um, for a while there, it seemed that we weren't going with fire department much, but lately it seems almost every time they go, we go. So, you your best much. Yeah. So, um, also, I wanted to report tonight uh, as I, I was out with COVID at the last meeting and wasn't able to prepare uh, the year end for uh, the town board. The building department ended up for 2021 with 979 permits. Uh, 78 of those were in the month of December. And then total inspections for the 2021 year was 3,104 inspections. Um, and those inspections are just building permit related inspections. So they'll, they'll include our fire inspections and any our, our stormwater inspections or uh, special events inspections. So that is just directly when we go out when somebody comes in to get a permit. So uh, it was a very busy year. Um, looking back over, I did a report for the board that's going to be uh, sent out with Michelle's uh, report, but uh, showing from 2015 on um, just the trend, and the trend is obviously getting larger and larger. I mean, I didn't go back past that, but it these have been record years over the last couple of years. Even with COVID, it's been still very busy. And we anticipate that to be the same. We did have, I don't remember the house numbers, but we had a lot of new homes. And I anticipate with all those new homes, we're going to get all the accessory structures this coming year to go along with that. So um, I do not see a slowdown in the building department. Yeah, I had uh, 151 park lands feet. So this not necessarily 151 towns or apartments already built in 2021, but they're under construction. They weren't uh, complete in 2021. Mm -hmm. So it's a high number. Way more, Ed. Yeah, next meeting will be uh, Myers RV sign uh, plans. And then we're going to do our, um, 
what we normally do every year. We're going to go over the MTOD, the streetscape, uh, and then the rules of procedure. So we'll do that instead of having a separate uh, meeting. We'll just do it right there since we got a little time. And then it gets busy from what I can tell. It gets really busy after that. So we'll go from there. That's it. All right. Thank you, Ed. Mm -hmm. Ron, Director of Planning and Development. <clears throat> okay, just to update a little bit what Nate alluded to, and that was uh, Delaware River Solar is now thinking about coming back to the town board to amend their letter of credit. They, um, they're apprehensive about the length of time involved with the appeal, realizing that they have up to six months, which takes them into, I believe it's June, and then another three month extension if they request it. And uh, they would like to ask the board to consider revising the letter of credit to allow them phase to start up of, the, of that project. So we'll see if, if we do get something from them on that. Uh, Farmington Market Center, uh, we did receive their proposal. Uh, unfortunately, some of the items that they were estimating the values of were two years old. And as you know, with what we've just seen with other public improvements, that two-year window is not realistic of what we're expecting today. So we sent that back and said, you know, revise your figures, <clears throat> take a look at what you're proposing. And, and uh, here's the list of all of the incentives that you're going to need. Uh, coming up in February on the 4th, the PRC meeting, we're going to have pre construction meetings for Reliant Federal Credit Union at Farmington Commons and the Gerstner Medical Building over there on Clinton Shire. And I'd like to just say that I've been around probably too long, 50 years now plus in this planning field and worked with a lot of highway superintendents. And I can honestly say that Don Jerome was one of the more gentle and more objective highway superintendents I've ever dealt with. Uh, I appreciate everything you did to make the Auburn Trail positive and successful. I appreciate everything you've done with all of the contractors and all of these various subdiv subdivisions. And even though some of them probably hate you as much as they hate me, that's okay. Uh, Don, you're gonna be missed. I will miss you. And uh, don't forget, John Robotella still has that coupon for a wingman. Okay. Well, we'll have to talk to somebody about that, see if we can get him in the yeah. seat. Tim, the bar has been raised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Ron, and uh, thank you. Thanks, Ron. Um, Bill, it's our engineer. Yeah, just uh, also want to say congratulations, Don. I'm not going to do a speech like Ron. I can't top that one. Yeah, so. that one. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, though, and uh, so good luck. Thank you. Uh, a couple quick things. We're, we're obviously, as Pete mentioned, working on a brick yard road tank uh, Monday night meeting with Canandaigua. The expectation is if everything goes well, we hope to work early March. Uh, next thing for the town of Farmington to do, as long as everything goes well with Canandaigua, would be bond resolution for the first meeting in February. <clears throat> we did uh, also, we got correspondence today after Public Works FAA did approve an extension, which we needed for the study and the determination made on their findings for the tank. So uh, we'll be good through uh, construction in that regard. And then 332 Route 96, uh, Steve mentioned is out to bid. The plans and specs will be available January 31. We do have a pre-bid schedule for the contract. It's February 10th here at the town hall. And then bid opening will be February 17th. That's all that I have. Okay, thanks, Bill. Uh, assessor, uh, we're still vacant in the assessor position. However, uh, Paul is our assessor aide, has been working with seniors on exemptions and has been working with Ontario County for our reval uh, procedures. And we are, I think, 
come up to three applications now, um, where the town of Canandaigua and the town of Farmington are looking at having a joint assessor um, and share that between the two towns. Uh, nothing on recreation tonight. Communications are on file. The first minutes are on file. First resolution is a resolution of sympathy for the Pepsi family. Whereas the town board was deeply saddened to learn of the unexpected passing of Charles Cooksey on November 21st, 2021. And where <coughs> Charles served 21 years as the town justice for the town of Farmington from 1985 to 2005. Uh, therefore, we resolve the town board adopts this resolution, extending its sincere sympathy to the Cooksey family and spreading his memory on the minutes of this board meeting. We have further resolved the town clerk for a copy of this resolution to Charles, daughter Deanna Hopkins, and family uh, here in Farmington. So, whatever, all, 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 and all, very little. Yep. As usual. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Two is a uh, state and environmental quality review resolution accepting the draft resolution for making a determination of significance and making a determination of non significance upon the actions identified as the adoption of 2021 federal edition of the yeah, 2021 edition of the town conference appointment. So, second, we had talked about this earlier tonight. It's been a, been a long process, but we're glad to keep working on it and get it done. All in favor? Aye. 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 Three is a resolution regarding the criteria for determining significance and making a determination of non significance action for the 2021 edition of the Town Farm to Comprehensive Plan. So moved. Second. Motion is second. Any comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Or is a resolution adopting the 2021 edition of the Town Conformance and Comprehensive Plan? So moved. Second. Motion and second. And again, we talked about that a little bit last meeting and this meeting. Any other comments? Just there. All in favor? Aye. 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 By resolution authorizing the adoption of the town board, town of Farmington, local law number one of 2022. Entitled Local Law to Override the Tax Levy Limit Establishment and General Municipal Law, and this will require a roll call vote. So, second. Motion to second. Roll call. Mr. Rising, okay? Aye. Councilman Bowerman? Aye. Councilman Harrington? Aye. Aye. Councilman Holtz? Aye. Passed. Thank you. Bear with me on number six. Resolution authorizing adoption of the Town Board of Town of Farmington, Local Law number two of 2022. Entitled a local law amending chapter 165, article 2, terminology section 9b, administrative terms defined, chapter 165, article 2, section 10, definitions, chapter 165, article 4, district re regulations, section 165, 18, 28, 29, and 30, chapter 165, article 5, solar photovoltaic EV systems. Section 165.63.3, creating Chapter 165, Article 6, Special Permit Uses, Section 84.3, Large Scale Drone Mounted Solar PV Systems, and amending portions of Chapter 165, Article 8, Section 165.99, Appointment of the Planning Board, Powers and Duties, and portions of Section 165.100. Site development plan of the code of the town of Harms. So moved. Second. Motion and second. And all it doesn't say, I assume this also is a roll call vote because it's a local one. I can do that. Okay. Supervisor Angles B. Aye. Councilman Barney. Aye. Councilman Yardin. Aye. Councilman Holtz. Aye. Yes, thank you. Number seven, the resolution authorizes the doctrine of a budget for fiscal year 2023 on behalf of special districts and fire districts, fire protection districts, set in the schedule attached here to and made part of the requirement for real property tax levy in excess of the amount otherwise prescribed in the general municipal law. And 
which we call we'll call the loss. So second motion to second again. This is uh part of the New York State requirement to either stay under the tax cap or override, and that's what this resolution basically does is say we have override. Supervisor, I Aye. 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 Resolution 8, acknowledging the addition of a new member to the Farmers and Volunteer Fire Association. Second. Second. And this is for Jason Parker. I've lost count how many partners in the party. No relation. Mm -hmm. Not related. Not related. No kidding. Okay. Just another partner. All right. All in favor? All right. All right. Nine, ten, eleven. Nine, ten, eleven. Any problems? Uh, nine, ten, eleven. With blocking. Any concerns? A second. Steve seconds. All right. They're all letter of credits in section seven S, seven N, and eight N of the Auburn Metal Subdivision. All in favor? All right. All right. Nine, ten, and eleven. Proposed resolution authorizes the supervisor to sign the certificate of substantial completion for the Clet Road Sanitary Sewer Replacement Project. So moved. Second. Motion to second. All in favor? Aye. 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 13's resolution authorizes the town supervisor to sign the right of way mowing contract for State Route 332 for 2022. So moved. Second. And this is an an annual event so that the highway department gets paid for when they do more three times a year. All in favor? Aye. 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 Sometimes we have to more four times. It's a wet year. 14 is resolution authorizing the highway park superintendent to purchase 12 aluminum eight foot tables for the pavilion at Beaver Creek Park at a cost not to exceed 13000 So moved. Second. Motion a second. Again, this is a draw up in public works. We did get three quotes uh, for that. And all in favor? Aye. 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 15 is a resolution authorizing the Highway Park Superintendent to hire Empire Fence Company to install a fence in the Beaver Creek Pavilion to divide the recreational storage <coughs> and cost not to exceed 4500 So, second. Motion and a second. Again, uh, Highway Department was able to receive two quotes and one verbal that they were unable to pull at this time. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 16 is a resolution authorizing the Highway Park Superintendent to purchase lumber from Santelli Lumber for playground equipment. And this is a change in the uh, agenda. It's for a swing set bordering the Beaver Creek Park. Cost not to exceed sixty-five hundred dollars. So moved. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Seventeen is a resolution authorizing water and sewer in the Highway Park Superintendent's entered into a sixty-three month lease agreement with the Toshiba Business Solutions for a wide format. Uh, HP DJT 2600 36 inch PS model 3XB78A number B1K at a cost not to exceed $267.70. So, okay. This is a replace a, an aging uh, white printer, format printer. Uh, this is actually almost $100 a month cheaper. Mm -hmm. The old one is black and white, this one is color. All in favor? Aye. 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 18 is resolution waiting, the waiting the potential wise reservation fee for the Farmington Victor Kiwanis on April 30th and May 21st. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 19 is a resolution authorizing the town supervisor to sign a mutual aid agreement extension with Ontario County. So moved. Second. Motion a second. This is a 
a five-year contract that expired this year. So it'll be with your vote, it'll be continued for five more years. And that's where we uh, are able to share equipment through the mutual aid agreement. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Twenty is a resolution authorizing the Highway Park Superintendent to fill a labor position in the Highway Department at a rate of nineteen fifty an hour. So moved. Second. Motion and second. And we still got a couple more vacancies. Let's get one one new hire here. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Twenty one is a resolution approving the recommendation from the Town Planning Board. And directing the establishment of a survey for site improvements associated with the Reliant Federal Credit Union project to be located within the Farmington Commons site for a total amount of $193,244. So, second. Motion to second. Uh, in case somebody's wondering, this site is between Burger King and AutoZone. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 22 is resolution authorizing approval of request for final release of funds, release number four, from the letter of credit, section nine, Auburn Mill subdivision tract in the total amount of $20,000. So, second. Motion and second. Any comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 23 resolution authorizing the purchase of seven smart lighting controllers with SLC. Connectivity for various street lights within the town of Farmington from Syncon Lane that cost not to exceed $750, including the annual data time. So moved. Second. Motion to second. And uh, this is to help connect our LED street lights in the northern part of town. All in favor? Aye. 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 24 is the abstract uh, two for 2021 to pay bills. Pardon? She's got it. She's got the wrong year. It's 2022. That's all. Yeah, 2022. Um, general fund $125,212 and 11 cents. Highway fund $88,911 and 11 cents. Beaver Creek Park $93 and 89 cents. Water tank repair $17,500. Storm drainage $9,550.13. Lighting district $2,731.78. Sewer district $258,584.51. Water district $36,285.88. Payroll deduction $7,008.75. Total abstract $545,878.68. Cents by the motion. So moved. Second. Motion second. Comments, questions, abstentions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. We do have training uh, under $100 listed here for Dan to go to a trade show in Buffalo in March. Any other discussion at this time? Any public discussion? Any other questions, comments? No executive session tonight. Any objection to waiver of the rule for one resolution? Hearing none, we have a resolution authorizing a public bidding for New York State Route 332 and 96 Water Main Replacement Project. Oh, second. Motion to second. As Bill mentioned today, we got the final written Department of Health uh, approval. And uh, so we are able to go up for bid for this. It's on the south. East and southwest corners of 332 and 96. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anything else to brought to the town board? Yeah. And a motion to adjourn? So we. Motion to second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.